Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or Auwa where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. On today's episode, we will be answering is there any USB PD chargers that can charge two laptops simultaneously and how to transfer WhatsApp messages between iOS and Android. So fey, cue the intro. <laughs> But first, we'll start with a question regarding mics. Hi guys, I was looking at some of those cheap alternative wireless mics, mainly for FB Live via phone. So, you could go for something like this photo 2-in-1 wireless microphone. They come with either a USB-C or lightning connector and either one or two mics. That said, wireless audio quality at this price can be questionable. So, An alternative would be this wired Boya BY-M1 lavalier mics that Rory tested about a year ago. Back then, these were the cheapest microphones on Shopee. After testing this, Rory was impressed with the audio quality and even used them to record the audio for the entire review. The link for the review will be in the description below. Next, we have a question that reads, Does anyone have RKMD for a high wattage charger? needed to charge two laptops concurrently via USB-C. Tried Basis 120W charger but broke in a few months time. The laptop sucks about 25W to 42W but barely any charger could output about 30W when concurrently plugged two laptops with USB-C. Finding a USB PD charger that can charge two laptops simultaneously is challenging but This Anker A2041 100W power port charger is able to do just that. Moreover, you can charge two laptops and two smartphones simultaneously. However, the USB-A output is just limited to just 12W. The final question is on transferring WhatsApp messages. Apple announced a couple of weeks ago that users can now transfer WhatsApp chat history from Android to iOS. You can read all about it in our article linked in the description below. However, the question we got was on moving WhatsApp messages from iOS to Android. At the moment, this feature is only supported on smartphones running Android 12 or Samsung Galaxy devices running Android 10 or newer. The first thing you need to know about this process is that you have to factory reset your smartphone. because the process will not proceed if it detects that you have already installed WhatsApp previously. Secondly, you need to ensure that your Android smartphone has at least 80% charge or more because once connected to the iPhone, the iPhone will start charging off of the Android phone. After the factory reset, do not download and install WhatsApp just yet. Connect your Android smartphone to the iPhone using a USB-C to lightning cable and you will get a prompt on your Android device. On a Samsung Galaxy device, this process will proceed via smart switch while other Android phones running Android 12 will do this on an operating system level. After that, just follow the prompts that will guide you through the whole process. Once completed, WhatsApp should be available in your app drawer. Do not disconnect the cable until you have verified that your chats have been transferred to the Android phone. For a clear step-by-step guide, check out our article which will be linked in the description box. That's it for this episode. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Links for our social handles will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next Aua. Bye.